right, it's a cold morning this morning. Real cold. Chuffing out, this is a frost up in front of van. That's not good. Come what April, I'm no I'm not gonna be able to use diesel, off-road diesel, red diesel, here in the UK we tint as diesel red for some reason, to have low tax on it, which it's not just low tax, it's it's low, it's a lot lower than what pump is. Set pump to £1.59. I paid 68 pence yesterday. It's a rough estimate because I'm not very good with my maths. It's about $8 for a gallon of fuel from pump, whereas I've been paying about, what, probably about two gallon, $2? I don't know. Anyway, I've been paying 68 pence a litre on this last load, and come what April, I'm not allowed to use it no more. Not in my machine. I heard about this a long time ago, but I actually didn't believe it because it's going to cripple my business it's going to add it's going to add two it's going to add about two thousand pound a month in fuel bills that's ultimately there's only one person that's going to cop for that and that's my customer and it's a bit of pill to swallow when that goes on when that goes on my bill i'm just not i'm not going to get no work it's 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 likelihood they're just crippling all these small businesses that need this fuel this cheap fuel to survive well, it's not that they need it to survive because everybody's going to be in the same boat. Everybody's going to have to put the prices up to cover this fuel. But what the hell? What are we going to do? What? Nobody's going to want to pay it. We're just going to be stuck. We're going to be. Oh, I don't know. Just... Yeah, I actually got it confirmed yesterday from oil company that I get my oil from, and um, he actually said there's only farmers that can actually get it this time round. So. There's only, there's only going to be four, there's locomotives, so if you've got a train, you're allowed to use it still. If you've got a, oh, if you've got a golf course, you're allowed to use it if you've got a golf course. What? I, they're making it stupid, they're making it up as they go along. So if you've got a golf course, you can use red diesel, but all these building sites has got all these diggers on it and stuff, steam rollers, anything that takes this off-road fuel, yeah, turns out that you're going to end up paying, paying top dollar for it. So it's just going to encourage theft. Well, I believe it's going to encourage theft because all these, like, I don't know, power speeds and stuff like that, these crushers that's up in woods, that's on site, say. Oh, that's on site, that's not manned, and it's in the middle of wilderness. People are just going to go up and rob that diesel because they know they can use it in the cars. You can't use that fuel in cars because if you get pulled, you're copping for an FD fine or even seizure of your vehicle. That's why I never run it in this. Well, not only that, because it's illegal, but it's it's just one of them things. I don't know what's going to happen with it. Like today, we're going to a yard, and there must be, what? There must be 200, 300 machines in this yard. And they all, they're all heavy engines. They're all really, really heavy engines. So, like, they're all loading shovels and stuff like that, and telehandlers, and, and just big, heavy stuff that... They don't need white diesel in it, but it's just what's going to happen. Anyway, that's my rant of a way for today. Frost on top of things. This ain't good. This ain't good at all. Now, if anybody's wondering, that this will be me, this will be it for me for today. I'll not eat out until till come what six, seven o'clock. Might even be. Might even be what? Might even be eight o'clock, depending on what time I last put the tea on. Um, whatever day we're on, Wednesday. Kids, kids do gymnastics and stuff, so she's got an hectic schedule as soon as she gets back from school. She'll get school run, rush home for my other son that gets dropped off on bus. Yeah, he, get, he gets dropped off because he's on a wheel. He's got a wheelchair, so he needs special assistance to get home. But when he gets home, that's she gets in car and then she takes eldest two to gymnastics, and then uh, she rushes back. Gets him changed, gets him ready for bed or whatever, gets him, get him his tea and stuff. And then uh, she's got to rush back out and pick kids back up. <laughs> uh, it's a bit of an hectic schedule. What? Like I say, I like to, I like to try and keep, keep it as normal as possible for other kids. I know 
a lot of you might not know that I've got a disabled son and uh, he has got some, a lot of special care he, he does need a lot of special care so when it comes to when it comes to other two doing what they want to do and living a normal life what well, I say it's a normal life the so-called as normal as what it can be for a 12 and a 9 year old so we, we try and just keep things just try and keep things normal for them the best we can anyway so if it means them being an hectic schedule going to gymnastics on a night time that's all we're You park up for five minutes, you get walked in. <laughs> right, I've got I've got all my paperwork out of the way. Yeah, look at this. Working for us. Anyway, I've had to sign my life away to get on this site. So I'll put that in window at van. I've got to go down there now, wait for him to bring in the machine. Things have changed up here. I mean like lords. She's just been telling me in office, you've got to, you can't cross over the road. I know, I, I know it's a road and stuff, but there's designated footways, footpaths and stuff that you've got to abide by. She's just said, if you get get seen cutting across without walking on a designated footpath, you can get kicked off site. It's that serious. There's, they've, they've gone to town with health and safety. And I mean like, this, which is a good thing really, because it puts everybody at mind at ease. Like say somebody's driving a machine down there that's, I don't know, it might have a broken window or something and they're taking it to a workshop if they're putting it in a workshop and they can't see how they're driving they might have a banksman with them if somebody runs out in front on it crossing the road to nip to stores or to new parts or whatever it's a no brainer isn't it, it makes sense but I just hope he's not going to dilly dally fetching it down because it's uh, it's half past eight now we need to make a start we should have been set up running now. I'm going to be towing for time, I think. But the thing that he's just said, or the, the, the machine has just showed me, it isn't as bad as what they were making out on phone yesterday. So that's a bonus. I should be able to get done a little bit quicker than uh, a little bit quicker than what I'd, I'd normally get done. I don't know. We'll see. It looks, it looks a nice job. That's a nice job. It's a rusty old machine. This is a bumpy old road. See, I'm not bothered about my van on here. Bumping about, it's my compressor because I've actually got a plug on my injection pump and wires, when they're tugging about and it's bouncing up and down, it, it stops it from revving. So obviously I, I can't get enough power out of my machine. So I know my wiring's at fault on my machine and I know exactly what plug it is, but I can't buy the plug. They want 1800 quid plus VAT for wiring harness for it. And it's, I'm not paying that for, for sacred plug welding on it or soldering on. So I need to get around doing that. Oh man, what am I going to do here? The f but it ain't a mess of this mug. This is where I normally blast here. So I might just have to take it up a little bit more. I'll put it there and I'll park money and I reckon. Well, it's cup is here anyway with the machine about to round. I'm going to take him, I'm going to take him back. so I don't have to walk down that road. I think it's a mile long. Well, they advertise that on the website. Oh, no, it can't because it goes another half a mile up the top. There's loads more of it. I'm just going to direct him in with this, I think. Let's see where he's going to get to. I want to put it on dry so I'm not walking about in all that sludge. because I want to be able to get my van as far away as possible but I don't want my pipes getting covered in sludge it's deep there with sludge that's about the driest bit there's a bit there that's dry I think if I uh, 
if I back up there and come out and slide it slide into a passenger side which I'm for American guys it's <laughs> that side it's gonna be the wrong way around but I want the compressor up there out of the way if I can help it I don't want my compressor breathing all dust in yeah he's just opted to walk he says uh, he wants to pass a bit of time on so I don't have to go back to work straight away <laughs> everybody that comes down fetches a machine ends up doing that Yeah, this company actually owns, they own all this. They don't own that field, but they own this land. And they own all that, all the way up to gates, up top. So, we're actually allowed to blast it here. It isn't just, it isn't just a matter of doing it at Sardot Road. It is actually their land. Prime example why uh, that's a bumpy road and this is what happens to it. If I built it over this one handed, but there's a plug just there. That's uh, that actually bounces about and it's uh, it's come loose. Get that a wiggle, get that one a wiggle. Right, let's try that. Ain't coming up with any faults, any cords. So, it's getting shut down. Someone's shutting it down. Oh no! We don't want this. Not today. Please, 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 please. Come on, please. Right, it's just give me a cord. Low engine oil. Um, I'll find something to wipe this way. It's not safe, Mark. I know we're safe. Safe starts there. That's maximum. So we're we're in his range. Can't do that. No, no, no. One thing we can try.
just done that is because it, cut, it clogs up the condensation inside line. Right, so today we ain't got that. Oh, the children things just twatter me at ribs. Right, we've got from, we're just gonna hit rusty bits here. I think I'm gonna draw a line about there. Do that front, same again with this. Probably about there. Oops, sorry. Draw a line about there. And then everything down here. So that's gonna want cleaning up. And then bucket. He just told me about bucket. He says, um, says what's inside doing? Well, it's pointless in my eyes because it's the first time it gets used. It's gonna. So I might just knock these scabs off and do it at that. We'll see. See what it looks like. Right. Hey, let's make a start. Right, I'm glad I did book it first because it's been absolutely freezing doing inside and shade and cold air blowing back. Yeah, that's been pretty cold. Um, I actually know why he's um, wanted book it doing on inside because this machine's got low hours and we're having low hours. It's, it's been sat there and it's not done now so it's rusted away and it's not selling so what they're going to do is put it as a refurb bucket and then refurb this front end so it reflects that it's got low hours. But I'm glad I did book it first because I found this. I don't know if you saw it then, but let's have a look. See it drip then. It's dripping hydraulic from down here somewhere. So I'm just taking this as a note so they know that I ain't done it. But I'm gonna do it anyway because obviously it's got still got a fault, but it's not my fault, but it's already leaking. Hey, right, let's get on to this now.
Right, that's that done. That inside took a little, little bit longer than I wanted it to, but yeah, we got there. I ended up causing myself some work. With that oil leak, when I knocked a scab off, it was blowing it was blowing oil to the bucket and I didn't notice until I, I'd stopped and I saw all the oil leaks on it, so I went back over it again. It's pointless really, because as soon as it goes into some muck, it's just gonna pull all the paint back off anyway. But that's what they wanted to wait, so uh... Guys, it's actually working in these all day, or not on this, well, not this sort of ground, uneven ground. This is gonna break me back. Right, catch you next time.